Welcome to Runway Academy. Today, we're going to explore creating videos with text to video and image to video. Text and image to video is a very powerful tool that allows you to create videos from text prompts or animate existing images. From your Runway dashboard, click on the text and image to video tool, and let's start by adding a prompt for a video that we want to create, a man looking out at the ocean as a storm approaches. Next, we can click on the style icon and add a style to our prompt. Or if you've created a custom style in Runway, you can select that from the model tab. Finally, we can choose an aspect ratio for our video. From here, if you click on the generate button, it will generate a video based on your settings and prompt, but you won't know what the video looks like until it's done generating. Instead, if we click on the free previews button, it will allow us to see what the first frame of our video will look like and make tweaks to any of the parameters before we turn it into a video. If you like one of the images, you can click on the use as image input button to continue the video creation process. If you'd like to make changes, feel free to adjust your settings accordingly, then preview again until you land on something you love. Now that we know what our starting frame looks like, we can use some of the other settings to bring it to life. This icon here is the general motion value for the video that we're going to create. The values range from 1 to 10, 1 being very subtle motion, and 10 being more extreme motion. For this example, let's change the value to 5 and click on the Generate button. What will happen now is the model will look at the base image and automatically apply subject motion and camera motion at a speed of 5. The motion that gets applied will be different each time you click on the Generate button, but the speed can be controlled with the General Motion slider. If you'd like to have more control over the camera and subject motion in your video, we can use some of the other settings, starting with camera motion. Camera motion allows you to choose the direction and speed the camera is moving in your video. You can click and drag the slider to adjust the speed, manually type in the speed value, or click on the icons themselves to move 0.5 in either direction. Once you've dialed in the camera movement you're looking for, click Generate. Now, our video has a very directed camera movement. To control the subject movement independently from the camera, we can use Motion Brush. Motion Brush allows us to select up to five different parts of our frame and apply specific motion values to each of those areas. In this example, let's select the clouds in the background first. You can use the Auto Select Area switch to click on individual objects or brush in an area using the brush tool. Now we can choose how we want the clouds to move. Let's change the proximity value and have them move closer to the camera at a speed of 3. Now let's select the ocean and have it move closer to the camera at a speed of 2 and up at a speed of 1. We'll also give it some ambient noise, which is non-linear organic motion, so elements like water, smoke, fire, wind, things that tend to move in non-uniform directions benefit from using this parameter. Finally, let's brush over our main subject and give him a small ambient noise value of 0.5 just to have a little bit of movement. Now we're ready to create our video that has both camera movement and subject movement applied. Once you're happy with the result, you can favorite it to find it easier in your Assets folder. Download it locally to your computer, or choose to extend the video to make it longer. Extending a video will automatically generate and stitch an additional 4 seconds onto the end of your video, continuing the motion from the first half automatically. If you'd like, you can also change the camera motion and motion brush settings per extension, and you can extend up to 3 times or 16 seconds total per generation. As a bonus, make sure you check out Saving Custom Presets, the Prompt Enhancer for assisting with better prompt building, or using Lip Sync directly from within text or image to video to help speed up your generative workflows even more. If you're interested in Lip Sync, I'd recommend checking out the full video on Runway Academy. Thank you so much for watching this overview of text or image to video. For more helpful resources, join our community on Discord where you'll find lots of information and experimentation using Runway or you can find a specific answer to your question by using this button on your dashboard at any time.